So I'm starting my morning. I'm waking up. I'm, I'm brushing my teeth. Yeah, it was a little bit late in the day to be brushing my teeth, but better late than never. But anyway, I was doing all that. Then my phone, it just started going off like crazy. Now, I'm like, oh, OK, I guess this may be them just confirming the Derrick Henry injury, which is really unfortunate. And it sucks for him, especially because I was really looking forward to that uh, that Rams Titans game. But now it's just it's not going to be the same. But that Rams Titans game is not going to be the same for other reasons because the Rams they going back to those Rams from a couple of years ago when they were in the bowl when they literally had that superstar team and they were trading for everybody trying to get this guy that guy in the third these guys traded for Von Miller and that's it's not fair that's not fair that's not fair like you got you already got some of the best defensive players in the league not no 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 not, not not just best defensive players in your conference. Not just some of the best defensive players in the NFC. Some of the best defensive players in the league. Two guys that would literally make any single team a lot better: Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey. They'll make the, they'll make them better instantly. And now you add Von Miller to that. Now I remember this off season. There was a lot of talk. Oh, is Von Miller going to stay? Is Von Miller going to go? Is Von Miller going to stay? Is he going to go? It was all this back and forth talk. But then he ended up staying. And I was like, okay, well, I guess that's that. Von Miller ain't going nowhere. But the Broncos, they're trading him. And the Broncos, what are they, 4-4? Four and four? Something like that? I think they're 4-4. Four and four. So they're not out of it. But, I mean, when you realistically look at the team, and they just got Jerry Judy back, who I love. I'm, I'm happy for them. But when you look at the team, it's like, no, nobody expects them to be a Super Bowl contender. They don't. They're just being realistic. But still, for them to just be like, all right, Vaughn, you out. I guess maybe, maybe he requested it. Maybe it was a mix of him requesting it. Maybe they was just like, ah, oh, you know what? Better get something for him now than nothing. And maybe this is the hottest that the market may be for him when it comes to a trade. So they're trading him to the Rams. And let's look at the compensation. <laughs> they, traded they traded him to the Rams for a second and a third round pick. Second and a third round pick for Von Miller. One of the uh, the best pass rushes in the game. And he still got it. He certainly still got it. And now, like, you, you take him from the Broncos, who, again, who we know they're not going to be competing for a Super Bowl this year. We know it. And you put him on a Super Bowl contending team, like a legitimate Super Bowl contender. And Matt Stafford, who a lot of us have got on a lot of times, he's overrated, he's this and he's that. He was like, hey, all I need, y'all just got to put a little more around me, man. Put a little, put a, put a little more around me and watch me go to work. Because in Detroit, I was putting in work over there, but I just really ain't have no help. I really didn't. And it's, it's proven that that's true. Because he has been killing it. Killing it. And the Rams, are they are a very powerful team. And now they just got that much more powerful. Because their offense, like, he's been throwing that ball all over the field. Throwing that ball all over the field. He, he, it's like, if he passed for less than three touchdowns, then it's like, oh, man, Matt Stafford had an off game. But he's, well, he's been killing it. You got Cooper Cup on pace to set all these records. We'll see if it holds up, but I mean, it's looking like it. I mean, Matt Stafford, he like, if it ain't broke, then don't fix it. I'm spamming Cooper Cup. But you add a Von Miller to all of that, man. You add Von Miller. Now, and you got Robert Woods, of course. You're getting ready to get rid of Deshaun Jackson. You get, you're getting ready to, to, to trade. Probably going to cut him because if not, I don't think anybody's going to trade for him. But hey, you never know. I ain't think anybody's going to trade for Von Miller. Not because I didn't, I didn't think he was, not that I thought he was untradeable. I just thought the Broncos weren't going to trade him. So, hey, maybe somebody might swoop in and get uh, get Deshaun Jackson. Now, the Rams, the Rams always do this. They, they, they do these, um, these blockbuster moves, man, because what, what they like to do, um, they, like, they like giving us a, 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 little, a little hint that they're getting ready to do something crazy. A couple years ago, 2019, um, they traded Marcus Peters. They traded him away to the Ravens, to my Ravens. I'm a Ravens fan, by the way. They traded him to the Ravens. 
And it was like, oh, okay. Now, me as a Raven fan, I sure wasn't complaining. I'm like, oh, Marcus Peters, let's go. The dude that picks off everything, oh, yeah, let's go. Loved him. But I'm like, with Rams, why would they trade away one of their best cornerbacks? Like, why would they do that? That It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. Ravens traded them Kenny Young in a draft pick for Marcus Peters. I was like, what? Hey, we won that trade for sure. Ravens won that trade all day. But then a couple hours later, the Rams, they traded for Jalen Ramsey. And I was like, oh, okay. Now I get it. Now, okay, it, now it makes sense. So I was like, oh, all right, cool. So then um, I know Rams, they, they did some uh, reconstruction of some salary cap space last week. And then um, they just recently, the same guy who they traded or they received in a trade to get Marcus Peters in 2019, they traded him away, uh, Kenny Young. They traded him away. And how I, I felt for Kenny Young. I'm like, man, I, I was just talking to my boy who's a Rams fan. I, I was watching the game before Kenny Young was traded. I'm like, man, Kenny Young, oh, he flying around. He's balling. He was like, yeah, he's been balling, man. And then a couple days later, he gets traded. I was like, what? What was that about? I was like, what, what, did, did Kenny Young, did he, did he upset somebody? So I, I didn't know. I didn't know what happened. And my boy, he told me, he was like, man, he said, we, 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 got, we got something cooking up. I don't know what it is, but we, we got something. We about to make a move for somebody. And I was like, hey, they just might. And then, boom, here we are. Von Miller headed to L.A. And, again, he makes a good team, a really, really good team, that much better. That much better. So he and, and you you not only get Von Miller, who's a really good player, but you get an extra motivated Von Miller because with Von Miller, he was with the uh, with the Broncos. And again, you know that they were they weren't going to be doing anything this year. Just to be straight. They weren't going to be doing anything. But now he gets to he's rejuvenated and, and he gets to play a, alongside Aaron. And, you know, all the attention that Aaron Donald commands, all that attention. That's why this dude wins defensive play of the year, like every single year. Because of what, uh, because he produced, despite getting all this attention, he still produces. That's what's so crazy about that dude, man. It's, it's insane. Despite all that attention, he still produces. Like, this dude is an interior defensive lineman, and he gets, like, defensive end pass rushes type stats. It does not make any type of sense, and it never will, because he doesn't make any sense. But now you add Von Miller to that. So I, I just I love how this Rams team is going about this um, because they are very being very, very uh, aggressive and they're showing like, hey, we're good. And this literally comes off of them uh, blowing out the Texans yesterday. And I know the Texans are the Texans, but Rams could have been on their high horse like, oh, yeah, we just blew out the Texans. Uh, we only lost. Who they? They lost to the Cardinals. Yeah, we had a fight against the Lions last week, but <laughs> ooh, it was a little scary. But they 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 edged it out. They edged it out. Um, but they could have been walking around on their high horse, like, oh yeah, we good and we know it. But they didn't do that. They said, you know what, we're good, but we can be better. We can be that much better. So let's get that much better. Let's get that much more powerful. Let's get that much stronger. And let's add somebody else to this squad. Then they go get. <laughs> then they go get Von Miller. Von <laughs> go get Von Miller. So good move by the Rams and all they give up. Like, you know, Rams don't care about no draft picks anyway. Rams are about the here and the now. They, they want a powerful team here and right now. That's all they care about. Draft. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, they ain't got no first round pick to like 2050. So they, they ain't worried about all that. So that's why when they, them parting these picks, they, they're like, oh, it is what it is. I mean, it is. We don't care about that. We care about the player. So, and they got to go. So team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Rams. Oh, my Ravens got to play the Rams too. We play, we play the Rams toward the end of the season. <laughs> so we get to face Von Miller again. Now, the first time we played Von Miller, he ain't do nothing there. Now we get to play him again. With Aaron Don, with Jalen Ramsey, with Darius. With, anyway, I don't even want to think about it right now. But anyway, just like Von Miller is when it comes to being with the Broncos, I'm out.